Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We were all set and ready for footies to be the next promo in FIFA 23, but instead we have something brand new, never seen before. Yes, we are talking about the leaks that have begun for a promo called Level Up. It's expected to be our next promo in FIFA 23. Today, I want to take a look at those leaks and talk about what this promo could be about and how it maybe could change the direction of the market in this game as well, because we were expecting a lot with footies now it looks like footies is not next so a lot to talk about in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you are new yesterday content was very quiet we're going to start off with this before we get into that whole conversation one singular SBC dropped in the game yesterday onachu medium high work rates three star four star it is very cheap um and it should be right that is just a mid card let's be completely honest it's not even a premium shapeshifter uh content yesterday was very very quiet there's really not much else to say now today should be a lot more interesting especially as we look forward to this brand new level up promo and what i want to do today is start by trying to figure out and kind of put some theories out there and at least think about what is this promo right what what is level up well we were all surprised first of all starting from the beginning with this tweet from foot sheriff yesterday new promo coming this weekend it's called level up right here we all thought footies was going to be the next promo we saw the packs the code and ea said hold on a minute we're going to drop something else in this game before we get to footies so this of course insinuates that there will be upgrades to whatever cards are going to be released, whether it's an SBC-based promo, SBC and objectives, that is, or if there's going to be cards in packs, leveling up, you think about stat upgrades, you think about overall rating upgrades, and what kind of cards that are upgradable could be released at this time of the year, right? I think back to summers of old FIFA, as you think about the Summer Heat promo. Shout out to Bateson for a beautiful thumbnail uh, on a FIFA 20 video. Remember the Furlan Mendy, right? Progressing from his uh, foot miss card, 85, all the way to the 93 right it was kind of a academy style objective that's a very common way we've seen cards be able to get upgraded and leveled up during promos in fifa the only thing i have to say about this is if they're going to do some sort of objective based promo or sbc based promo where you level up cards it's the objectives have to be pretty easy to do right i mean think about the gabi that we have pretty easy to do it's the summertime people are not wanting to sweat out 15 games of rivals or uh, even squad battles to try to get a card at this stage of the game i think ea know that but that goes without saying if it's going to be a kind of play to upgrade type of concept for level up it can't be like too many games it can't be too difficult it's got to be something that is uh kind of acceptable for this time of the year and the summer stage on FIFA. I think that's my favorite theory for what this level up promo might be like is some sort of academy style objective where it's play to upgrade complete objectives and your card goes up in rating. Now we had a new way to upgrade cards this year too. Remember we started footballers brand new promo as an SBC promo that tied to the objectives. Could this be another promo that's kind of like that? Similar to Academy style, but you do an SBC, right? Remember the Luis Diaz? You did the SBC, then you went out and you completed some challenges with a card to unlock the boosted version, and you had that whole set of those Premier League players, right? Like the Ederson, the Grealish, and then all these guys that are listed here. Could it be a sort of promo like that, where it's SBCs, then objective-based, and then you complete some gameplay and whatever to get those cards upgraded? Or will it be something completely different? Will it be like a transfer promo where there maybe would be cards in packs, right? The first two of these definitely would be promos where it wouldn't include cards in packs or wouldn't have to include cards in packs. A promo like this where there's going to be a whole new card design and you think about a promo of this sort of concept where it'd be players that were maybe leveling up to new and bigger clubs through transfers throughout this summer window. This would be really, really sick, but guys, it's only, it's like the beginning of July, right? We are still in the transfer window. There is still time left, and I don't think EA would be in a place right now where they could be putting transfer cards on the game already. This is something that we almost never see until mid-August, late August. Anyway, with like a preseason promo, that's when we start to get our first transfer cards every single year. So I feel like this is a very unlikely kind of, um, you know, way this promo could play out, but it is a potential. And also, I want to talk about this car design. Some of you guys may have seen this tweet 
um, on Twitter from Leveled Up FIFA 23. This guy's account is called Leveled Up. He didn't rebrand for this promo or anything like that. I've seen him before. I do follow him. Now, I will tell you this much. I do not believe this is a confirmed card design. He says it's added to the code. I do believe this is just a card design that he made up because it matches his profile. No nothing has been tweeted out by uh, Foot Sheriff, Foot Scoreboard, or any of those guys. I, I would not read into this as the exact or actual card design. I think this is a concept, guys. So before you go and start believing that this is going to be an actual thing in the game, I would say wait for a loading screen or wait for a tweet for some of those guys who have the actual code of the game for when cards actually get updated. I would be careful about be believing this as the actual card design. So that's kind of, I guess, some of my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think this promo might be about. Could it also be a subtle flex from EA saying, hey, it's July now. FIFA, we're out of contract with you. And we're going to say this is a promo called Leveled Up where we're going to actually take our content to the next level because now it's still FIFA 23, but now I, I guess it, like July is the month, right, where EA is separating from FIFA, the agreement is up or whatever. So is it kind of a play on that? I doubt it. But hey, really, we just don't know, guys. The opportunities here are endless. Um, I just hope uh, with a name like Leveled Up that the cards are really juiced, right? We need to see. Think about it right now. We have one 99 rated card. We have Pele, 99 rated in this game. We need to see more, all right? EA Sports, we need to see some more 99 rated. We have a 98 Thierry Henry. We've had a couple of 98s, but we got to see those 99s. So I'm hoping this promo starts to bring out like that footies level of content of the really, really insane high rated cards and a lot of hype that way. But uh, it is the summertime, so... It is usually SBC-based promos, and, and we can still get some of those really high-rated cards through SBCs and objectives as well. Now, let's talk about this a little bit, right? Cards in packs. If this is not footies, what is going to be this promo, right? We already touched on it a bit already. Footies always brings us um, an SBC uh, objective-based promo where it's all cards that are you know voted on in objectives and we're completing through squad building challenges, but the best of re-releases... Are still in packs now this is a summer promo if you think back a few years to all the summer promos that we've had on this game even if you think back to summer heat and footies and festival of football and all of those types of promos and older fifas they have done still the re-releases of cards back into packs guys i think that if this is an sbc based promo which it probably will be uh i think we could see re-releases unless these cards are going to be packs like it's really we don't know but this is the time of the year where re-releases really start to happen and of course with this promo being next instead of footies that's gonna have some impact on the market and some prices are already being impacted a little bit by it because if you think about it everybody has been panic selling and prices have been absolutely dying on this game for the past couple of days because everybody's worried about the re-release of cards back in packs oh my goodness this card's gonna get put back into packs and he's gonna absolutely get destroyed in price sort of thing and i think after this leak from foot sheriff you've seen a few cards go up even the tots cards like neymar was 2.4 yesterday he's now up to about 2.5 2.6 so it was up like 100k that's not that much for a two and a half million coin card but some of these other tots cards and maybe even some of your other shapeshifters could see some pretty wow mares is 1.3 that's a card that is definitely up on Sunday, I think he was 1.1, 1.16 on Monday. Um, and then yesterday, rising back up after a lot of that panic selling has kind of ended. And I really think that this league has, I guess, freed up some people. And also the content being really quiet on FIFA right now in the past two days has freed up some people and stopped the panic selling because there's not too much to do. So cards are just naturally, especially the rare ones, kind of rebounding back up in price. And there's less panic about footies and a crazy promo like that because of this leak. So that's where I feel like the market's being impacted right now is content's a bit slow, and we know footies is not the next promo according to the leaks, so some prices are starting to bounce back up a little bit. But the same things we just talked about in the past couple of days relating to shapeshifter cards and team of the season cards with what could happen if there is a re-release still is something we have to keep in mind because if there is a re-release as a part of this promo, I would have to imagine that it would kind of follow along the same lines as other, you know, footies type promos, summer heat type promo, where you have the first batch of cards is going to include team of the years. It's going to include some of these like future stars and some of the older promo players. 
and it's not going to include team of the seasons or shapeshifters just yet it's probably going to come in like the week two the week three if that is this sort of promo uh, again it's all theoretical right now we just don't know what this promo looks like but some of the things we just talked about in the past couple of days would absolutely be true still if there were cards re-released, cards that get re-released, the, the two main things, right? Cards that get re-released would get absolutely destroyed, and shapeshifters and other recent promo cards would definitely go up and go up further in price potentially um, if it is a re-release. And of course, these guys that are just kind of new to the game and the most meta cards, the most hype cards right now in this game are not in packs. So that's kind of what I would keep in mind for now. If I was somebody that was looking to buy a card for my team, especially if it's a team of the season card, like we've been watching these prices very closely. And yes, they have gone up a little bit, guys. It's obvious to see some of these prices have risen. Wow, two five under cut there on Neymar. Guys, these TOTS cards are still getting supplied every single day. And yes, you might have a couple fluctuations this weekend. And yes, Neymar was like 2.3 and now he's 2.5. But guys, Neymar is going to be back at 2.2. 2.1 he's going to go below 2 million coins whether it happens this next week whether it happens in two weeks whenever the re-releases happen the supply is consistently coming in every single day as well just be careful with the tots and the tots moments cards it's just a matter of time right because it is the end game all cards get absolutely destroyed in the end game so i don't want to keep you know speculating and being too curious about it because it's not worth too much of our time because we're going to figure out honestly what this promo is about probably more today i would watch out specifically on twitter today for more leaks on a wednesday loading screens on wednesdays are very common i really hope that's a part of our content today it's been a slow week of content right I hope that we get a loading screen today to start to build the hype and learn what this level up promo is like. So what else can we expect today? Let's dive into that conversation here for a little bit. There's a big um, objective that we might be looking out for today. But first, I'm, I do want to actually look at one other leak, and that is Ever Banega has been leaked as a shapeshifter soon. To me, this is an SBC player, and also to me, this has to be a premium card, right? Um, yes, he is from Argentina, but in the Saudi league, we got to get those premium links for this item. It's honestly like EA, why would you release a Saudi league SBC player um, when right now an objective that is needing, and we needed this SBC like earlier, man, because uh, the actually it's gone away, the weekend league objective, right? Unless I completely missed it. The uh, shapeshifters like extra weekend league, whatever it is, I can't find it in here. It's our, it must have already gone away. But um, that kind of weekend league plus objective included the Saudi league players uh, for wins, right? So last week Saudi league players went up crazy on Wednesday. Could it be another one of those objectives this week? And could we see prices rising and moving on the MLS cards? Because remember last week MLS cards were crazy high. Well, guess what? They're rising once again. How much is Mukhtar? Oh, Mukhtar is back down. Really? Yo, what happened here, man? Because I'm pretty sure I saw Mukhtar at like 130k or something. What happened to this guy? 137k all the way down to 78,000 coins. If I'm not missing something here, I really thought that the uh, objectives came out on Wednesdays for the uh, footies... Uh, not footies for the shapeshifter objectives the gameplay ones for weekend league i don't know guys so i would watch out for that maybe i guess it was on tuesdays every week maybe i lost track and lost count of that but um if we get one of those today that could move some of those cards but maybe that was on tuesdays in previous weeks and i'm just completely missing the point there but other than that maybe the benega sbc today uh wednesdays also Sometimes it brings us a gamble pack. I do want to talk about fodder to end this video off as well, guys, because uh, fodder is in the bin on the uh, the top tier, man. All these 88s are 11, 12K. And honestly, unless something comes today, this is ridiculous how low these cards are. This is the lowest that 88s have been all year long. I mean, we picked a bad week to look at 88s. I mean, every other week this year, 88s have at least done decent, right? A drop off like this, like literally 4 to 5K a card is, is crazy, man. It's crazy. And it's these TOTS cards that are pulling everything super duper low. 91 rated cards are 15K for team of the season. That is disgusting, man. That's crazy. We have a lot of icon species available right now, but it's the lack of like an icon upgrade pack. And it's, a, it's the, also the supply of these team of the seasons that is just bringing these fodder prices down to absolutely unbelievable levels. So, um, yeah, unless we get something crazy today, like a 92-plus shapeshifter player pick or, or something crazy like a shapeshifter upgrade pack, 
that would probably stay the same. Those prices are probably going to stay low until we start to get a feel and just some knowledge about what this promo is like. So it's a one of those very, very rare weeks where fodder does not do good unless you bought 85s. Um, 85s are, of course, up a lot for the 85 times seven if you have 85s they're probably going to go up again a little bit more today because not only is the 86 plus uh pick going to refresh not only is the tots or tots moments going to refresh today but that 85 times seven is going to refresh once more today on wednesday you'll be able to do it again of course the daily login is going to refresh make sure you get that one done what is everybody getting from a daily login today we're getting towards kind of the back end of that daily objective should be getting something pretty good today for day six um we are getting ooh an 84 times five not too bad and then in 585 uh tomorrow on thursday to get that shape shifters player pack as well so also i just noticed as i checked the store i've got some cards of mine assigned here so i can't open the packs but um i noticed that i got my last tots pack for compensation so i think ea maybe finishing up in terms of the compensation so check your stores check your uh packs because maybe, just maybe, they're finishing up on that. They haven't tweeted anything yet from the EA FIFA Direct account, as uh, far as I've seen. But it looks like they have been kind of making some moves there. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. A bit of a shorter one. But hey, this level up promo is really what we're curious about right now. And right now, we just don't know too much. Hopefully, it's a banger. Hopefully, we'll learn a bit more today. I'll see you guys on stream today. Have a good Wednesday. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace out.